What's up? Done with school. <laughs> I forgot that line. Oh shoot, wait. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On one of my last recent Instagram posts, I posted about how I was going to graduate early and a lot of you were asking why and how and there were so many different questions. So I thought for today's video I would answer some of your guys' questions. So make sure you stay tuned if you want to hear them. For the first question, it says, how did you get all your credits done? So I am actually scheduled in dual enrollment, well, <laughs> dual enrollment at Highland High School, which is my public school that I go to, and also an online school called Primavera, which I do a full schedule at pretty much both of them, and I do an entire full schedule at Highland because I take classes one through seven and I don't even have a lunch. So I literally go like, the whole beginning half of the day with no break which is great but for primavera i just take like a class once every six weeks and uh, that's also helping with me with my credits and to graduate in the state of arizona you have to have 22 credits to graduate so i'm almost there the next question says what are your plans next year if you are not in high school so this is a very big question because this is pretty much the whole reason why I'm graduating early. And one of the reasons is pretty much for my health and obviously you guys know I have a hip injury. So just taking care of my body and being able to go to yoga and physical therapy to help me out because right now I have like no time in my day to do that because I go from school and I do practices and I go to dance the rest of the night so I literally have no time for any of that and the second reason is because I really want to start um, training to be a choreographer slash teacher because I know that my original plan was to be a professional dancer but I don't know yet if that's like actually gonna happen because of my hip because, so I'm just gonna start um, mentoring with people and start just training myself on how to be a better dance teacher and just learning how to be a dance teacher. All right, next question. Are you going to walk with Highland? Um, actually, I am not going to walk with Highland um, by the end of this year because um, as of May, I still need two more credits, so I'm going to take um, summer school for the whole summer, so then I'll be um, done by the end of summer, and I'll graduate with Primavera, which is the online school that I go to, or school, I don't know. Alright, next question, this one's kind of funny. Someone asked, are you super smart? So this is kind of a funny question because I wouldn't consider myself super smart and I also wouldn't consider myself like... <laughs> okay, anyway. But I wouldn't say I'm super smart, but I'm pretty much like a, like a B and C student and sometimes I have the occasional A, which is usually in my elective classes, but this year I have not a good grade in my culinary class because my teacher does not like me very much but oh well what can you do but to graduate early you don't actually have to be super smart you just have to be dedicated and willing to put in the time and effort to finish everything on time or whenever you want to so that's a big thing all right ready for the next question are you graduating early so you can graduate with Chongo and Ryland? Um, actually, I am not graduating early to graduate with them because I'm going to be graduate gradu graduating. I'm going to be graduating um, by the end of summer, so technically um, 
that's not one of the reasons why I'm graduating early. It's just the other two reasons that I told you earlier in the video. But I pretty much just have my own life and I make my own decisions and it's just something that I wanted to do and that I'm willing to do to be done with school. <laughs> okay. Um, next question. What will you miss the most about high school? I actually don't know if I'm necessarily going to miss anything. Um, I actually have been in high school for two years, you know. But in freshman year, I went to like almost every single dance. I went to football games. I've done palm for two years. I've, go I've gone to literally all of the basketball games because I cheered out all of them. And I've been to all of the dances this year, so I don't know if I'm going to miss out on anything, but I'm definitely going to miss my friends. I actually don't have a lot of friends, but I think um, definitely it's quality over quantity. So some of the, um, like, some of my best friends I'm obviously going to miss, but I'm still going to see them. So I'm really not going to miss anything about high school. Next question. Um, do you think you will regret graduating early? Like, will you miss out on anything in high school? Well, I kind of already answered this quest question. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I kind of already answered this question, but in the last question. But I don't know if I'll regret anything because I've actually had a lot of fun in the last two years. But you know there's the occasional drama and this you get tied into that I would definitely not miss. But I don't think I'm going to miss out on anything. Alright, on to the next one. Um, this question says, will you go to college? And I actually am not planning on going to college right as of right now. I'm just going to try and mentor with other dance teachers to try and learn more stuff about teaching and um, also teaching young dancers but somewhere down the road I um, might take community college just to learn about like anatomy and physiology which is like just learning about your body and how it works and also like child development just to um, learn more about children and how they think and develop. All right. I believe this is the last question. This question says, is online school hard? Actually, online school is very hard, but you have to have a lot of dedication to get it done. And if you fall behind, you're kind of screwed. So I would suggest if you do online school, just like either work ahead or do it every single day so that you don't get behind because it can be really easy just to like let it go and be like oh I can do it another day and then you're not doing so good in the class so just takes a lot of dedication and hard work and yeah alrighty okay so this is kind of a surprise I wanted to do at the end of the video but um in or tomorrow tomorrow actually is my one year um hip anniversary um so that means like one year ago i actually got my hip replacement and in paris i was there today and i got it tomorrow but i just wanted to celebrate and i wanted to show you guys how much i have improved on my flexibility and some of the things that I can do now that I couldn't do when I didn't have this hip. And I just want to also tell you guys, um, never take anything for granted because once it's gone, it'll never be the same, but don't take it for granted if you have it because it sucks. I mean, I'm doing better now, as you guys will see in a little bit, but like some of the simple things that you do in daily life, I, I couldn't do at all. So don't take anything for granted. So let's see. 
The first thing I have down on here is actually the splits, but as of right now, I just finished Radix Dance Convention and I literally cannot move my legs because my muscles feel like rocks and they're super tight, so I promise you I can do it, but right now is just not a good time, but I'll show you some other things. The next thing I have down that I can do now is touch my toes. See? I can touch my toes and I can even go further. And it doesn't hurt at all, which is nice. I mean, maybe a little bit because I'm sore, but. <laughs> Next thing I have is I can sit crisscross applesauce now. So I'll show you that. This is very exciting. And a lot of people with um, my disease that I have can't sit like this. So this is really exciting to me because if you have messed up hips, like this position is actually extremely hard to do. So this is like super cool that I can do this. What's the next thing? The next thing is that I can run. I'm not gonna show you that I can run, but I can run now and I couldn't before. So, and the next thing is I can do a runner's lunge. This is my runner's lunge. <laughs> Um, this actually requires a lot of hip flexion, which I didn't know because it's been so simple for me my whole life, but, um, as you can see, like, your hip right here, it has to bend, and I literally could not do it, like, at all, like, I probably, like, looked like this, like, I'm not even kidding, so that's really exciting. Alright, and last thing is that I can tie my shoes. Should I show that? Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I tie my shoes, I guess. Oh wait, I'll do it with the left leg. So, that's some pretty good hip flexion right there. As you can see, my, my knee can touch my shoulder. I worked for two years after my diagnosis to try and get my leg even past 90 degrees. So, this is really good. So yeah, I'm tying my shoes. And the last thing I wanted to tell you guys is that I can finally dance, which is literally the best thing ever. And I'm actually dancing full time at club dance, which is just like through the night. But I know I haven't posted a lot of dance videos recently, but I promise I'll post some more so that you guys can see my progress and how I'm going along. And anyways, that is the end of my video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys, it's actually my New Year's resolution to get way better at my YouTube, so I'll see you guys next time. Um, one sec, let me say that again. Oh my gosh, why do I keep saying graduating? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somewhere down in the... I don't know if I said that right. Somewhere on the road. Work. <laughs> Is that how you'd say that? Yeah.